Here we're going to find the probability of several different events using a bag of M&Ms. We've got a breakdown of colors with the numbers listed of each color, and we're going to pull two M&Ms out of the bag without replacing the candy. So each experiment, we're going to pull one M&M out, hold it out, and then reach in and pull out a second one randomly. And then we'll reset the bag before the next experiment. So each part of this problem, we'll assume we're starting with the same distribution of colors that are given here. So first of all, we want to find the probability that we'll draw two red candies, meaning that we'll draw one, and then in our second draw, we'll also get a red candy. So this is a multiplication rule problem where the two events are not independent. If we replace the candy and reshuffle the bag, then they would be independent because the probability on each draw would be consistent. But because we hold that first one out before we grab the second one, the events are not independent. And so we have to think carefully about what's gonna happen with each situation. So the probability of drawing a red one and then another red one means that first of all, we need to find the probability of drawing a red one on the first pull and then multiply that by the probability that if we assume we did get a red one the first time, we'll also get a red one the second time. In other words, we assume that the first half of the problem went the way we needed it to, to continue going. If we drew a blue one, for instance, the first time, the experiment will be over because there will be no way to draw two red ones. So first we'll calculate the probability that the first one's red, then we'll assume that happened, and under that condition, we'll find the probability that the second one is red. So the first one, there are 12 red candies, and if you add all the total counts together, you'll find that there's a total of 106 M&Ms in this bag to begin with. So the probability the first one is red is 12 out of 106. Now if we assume that happened, there are a total of 105 candies left, because we're holding one out. And of those 105, only 11 of them are red, if we assume that the first one was red. In other words, if we assume the first half of our experiment was successful, there's only 11 red candies left. So we calculate those two probabilities, and that second one is the conditional probability on the condition that the first one was also red. Now when we multiply those, we get 132 out of 11,130, which corresponds to about 0 0.0119. For the next part, we want to find the probability of first drawing a blue candy and then a brown candy in that order. So the probability of drawing blue, then brown, again is going to be the probability first of drawing a blue one, and then assuming that happened, the probability the second one is brown, given that the first one was blue. So again, there are 106 to begin with, and out of those, 22 of them are blue. If the first one we drew is blue, there are 105 total left, but all of the brown ones are still in there. If the first one we drew was blue, all the brown that were there at the beginning are still there. So there's still 24 browns. So if we multiply these together, we get 528 out of 11,130, which is about 0 0.0474. For the next part, we want the probability of not drawing two green candies. Now, if you try to do this directly, you'll find yourself getting lost very quickly because the number of ways you could draw not two green candies quickly gets out of hand. You could draw a red, then a yellow, or a brown, then an orange, or two browns, or a yellow and a green, and there are just too many possibilities to keep track of. It's much, much easier to first find the probability of drawing two green ones, and then remember that the probability of that not happening is just one minus that answer. So this is much, much easier. And then this one looks just like the ones we've done previously, especially part A. So we'll have one minus the probability that you draw a green one first times the conditional probability that you draw a green one second. So of course the probability you draw a green one first, there are 17 out of 106. And then assuming that happened, there will be 105 total of which 16 will be green if you drew a green one the first time. So this is one minus 
272 out of 11,130, which works out to 10,858 out of 11,130, or about 97 or 98%. For the last part, we're going to find the probability of drawing an orange and a yellow. Now this looks a lot like part B, where we drew a brown and a blue, but in part B, we were given an order specifically, blue then brown. In this case, notice carefully that order is not mentioned. It's just the probability that one of them is orange and one of them is yellow, which is easy to miss. But what we need to keep track of is that we could draw orange then yellow, or we could draw yellow then orange. And notice the word or tells us we're gonna add the two probabilities together. So the probability of getting an orange and a yellow, we could do orange, then yellow, or we could do yellow, then orange. And these individual probabilities will do just the same way we did the previous ones. So for the first one, first drawing an orange, there are 13 out of 106. And then to draw a yellow, there would be 105 total. And if we drew an orange the first time, all the yellows would be left in the bag, all 18 of them. Then on the other hand, if we draw a yellow first, there would be 18 out of 106 times all the oranges, 13 out of 105. And if you notice carefully, those two values, this one here and this one here, are actually the same. So we could have just calculated the probability of orange then yellow, for instance, and then doubled it, and the answer would come out the same way that, as the one we're going to get in just a moment. So there are a couple of ways to do this, but this way keeps everything easy to see, and we can keep track of all the possibilities and make sure we're accounting for them all. It turns out this total is 468 out of 11,130, which is about 4%.